Hi everyone, I'm Zizheng. Today I'm going to introduce to you the low power wide area network. With the fast development of the Internet of Things, we are to build a world with everything connected. So there are actually a lot of network technologies that helps us connect things together. So in this picture, we could categorize these networks into four parts. However, for technologies like Bluetooth or Zigbee, it only covers a small range, so it means we need to deploy a lot of routers to make a full coverage of a certain area. We also have the traditional 3G, 4G, and in the future 5G networks. However, they are too power consuming, and that's why we need LPWAN. What are the features of LPWAN? It firstly needs to be of low cost for small devices and massive deployment. Then, it should be widely covered around rural areas without deploying too many base stations. It also should be battery friendly. And lastly, with millions or billions of devices, the network is still robust enough. So today we are going to talk about the four starring technologies. So who developed them? The NVLT and LTEM are both developed by the 3GPP and Sigfox by the Sigfox company and LoRaWAN by Smtech. So let's start from LoRaWAN, a private technology, so it runs on unlicensed spectrums. It uses spread spectrum technology. This lays the foundation of the LoRa's key features of wide coverage and low power consumption. So what is exactly spread spectrum technology? It is a modulation tech based on trip spread spectrum modulation. The unmodulated signal is a trip signal between two cutoff frequency. A modulated signal has various starting frequency level depending on the spreading factor. A spreading factor of 7 means there are 2 to the power of 7 which is 128 starting point and this dynamically changing spreading factor makes up the adaptive data rate of the LoRa1. And each base station of the LoRa1 is able to cover to 5 km in urban area and 20 km in rural area. It uses either 250 or 125 kHz bandwidth to operate full day without any limitation. Next is Sigfox. It also runs on iLenses spectrum. It uses BPSK modulation with an ultra narrow band, only 100 Hz message bandwidth allowed. To reduce power consumption, each base station or gateway covers 10 km in urban area and 40 km in suburban area. It only allows 140 upload messages and 4 download messages per day. For NB-IoT and LTEM, they use licensed spectrum compatible with the current 4G network when they are deployed at the in-band mode. So what are the deployment modes of NB-IoT? NB-IoT networks are able to deploy in three modes, the standalone mode, guard band mode, and in-band mode. Both occupy 200 kHz bandwidth. However, the LTEM, the EMTC, only uses current LTE band, so in-band mode only. So what are the differences between these two technologies? In this chart, we are able to see that generally the LTEM has a higher peak bit rate and a higher bandwidth than NB-IoT. It also supports voice communication and using a more complicated modulation. It roughly means the LTEM, the EMTC, is a higher version of NB-IoT with higher power consumption and data rate. To give a comparison of them, if you have a high requirements of the quality of service, you should use NB-IoT or LTEM as they run on a licensed spectrum. And this means it would save you a lot of money if you use Sigfox or LoRa1 as they are free. In terms of battery life, Sigfox performs the best, while it means NB-IoT devices give you low latency and LTEM gives you the lowest. Also, the Sigfox network will give you largest coverage, and then the NB-IoT devices support higher bit rates. It would cost you less on the device courses using Sigfox networks. However, in another terms, the LTEM uses the right available 4G infrastructures. Lastly, I'm going to share about some LPWAN applications. To build a smart cities, we need smart meterings. LPWAN empowered smart sensors can be operated for years based on the frequency of the readings per day. We can also have smart logistics where expensive items logistic links can be tracked using IoT based tracking devices. We can also have smart variables such as smart watches to provide assistance to our daily life and gather accurate data. Lastly, smart farming is an important application where LPWAN empowers low cost to monitor the large rural area for air pressure, air quality,